Oh, it feels so good to be staying back here for a couple of nights. What's up, guys? In the next few nights, I'm going to be staying here in this old place where I used to live, which is basically my parents' place. Since my parents are actually in Seattle for the weekend, I've actually been asked to stay over here a few nights just to house it. And it feels good to be back and also stay in my old bed where I used to sleep before I moved out into my apartment. So it's, of course, I'm going to be focusing more on going, being at work at Lowe's, but there's, I'm so glad I can actually get back to barbecuing a little bit for my food, especially at this time of the year in the summer. So it's going to be an interesting couple of nights. I'm excited to, especially I'm going to be cooking steak on the barbecue at least once. And I don't know what else though, but I'm only going to be here for a couple of nights, so nothing really too different. Now let's see if they have some steak here. Some type of steak. Oh yes, right here. The beef strip loins, even though there's going to be three of them. Huh, I'm no, I don't care, I'll be hungry by then. Let that thaw out for the next seven hours-ish. And just have it later around later in the evening or sometime at dinner time. Hey, so I know exactly what I'm going to get for a good appetite before going to work. Some awesome crispy tater tots and an awesome air fryer, which is going to be pretty awesome. Okay, here we go. Probably set it for about 20 minutes. There we go. Alright, now it's cooking. Okay, so it's been a little while now. Oh, look at that. Just gonna shake around a little bit. That way it doesn't stick to the fryer. Just give it another couple, the rest of the four minutes and it should be nice and crispy. All right, here we go. Whoa, look at that. I think these are done. Let's turn this off. There we go. Let's hope I don't fail myself once I do this. It's been a while since I last used this. There we go. Ah, damn. Good thing I only spilled just one. Sorry if the scene gets into you there. <laughs> yeah, some might be a little soggy, but should be okay. While I'm at it, why don't I try one? Mm. They actually are pretty crispy. No, yeah, I think I timed it right. Awesome. Okay, so I got the beef strip loin steaks, that's what these are. I got them all packed, um, prepped, sorry, not packed. Um, so I got them all prepped. Uh, all I have to do is put the steaks on this pan, this tray. And they're still a little bit frozen, but that's okay because I'm just getting them prepped for going to work. And then what I'm gonna do is when I get on my hour break, I'm going to come back here and then I'll just grill them up on the barbecue and, that, and then just have them for my dinner on my hour break. And just so you guys are curious to know what's on the steaks, this is what I call the keg steak spice. Because that's what this is. It's the best uh, steak spice you can ever have. It's, from, it's actually from Costco. And I'm going to show you it actually really quickly. This spice is really good with steak. It's the best steak spice I've ever used. And you could get them at Costco for a pretty good deal. So what I'm going to do is I saran wrapped it too so dust doesn't get into it and everything. So I'm going to leave this for a couple of hours and when I come back I will show you to 
what it's like when I barbecue them because it's going to be a really interesting steak dinner for myself. I didn't expect that. <laughs> so I'm cooking the steaks now. Um, I never expected that flare up. I think it's because my dad was playing lazy and decided not to clean the, the grills on the bottom because they're so dirty and there's a lot of dirt. I think that's why it, it was smoky. Because it is smoky still. Oh god. So I think these are going to be quick to cook. But I really got to watch it. So I'm trying to make the medium rare. That's why I want for a beef steak. So yeah, like, they're already getting the charness. And what I like to do, especially after each side, I turn them the other way around, make them vertical, so I get that cross chart, which is what I really, really like. Even our minute, couple minutes. Nah, it's gonna be good. Beef strip loins are definitely one of the best steaks out there on, on the, in Canada. Beef ribeyes are also the greatest, but don't have my parents don't have those right now. So this is what I gotta do at the moment. them again. Yeah, definitely getting that cookiness right now. One there. Yeah, they should be getting close. Another few more minutes and then they'll be all done. But yeah, I definitely like barbecuing. It's a shame I'm not allowed to have a barbecue in my apartment, but overall this is this barbecue is really good because it has a sear burner, and that's the burner I'm using it on right now where all the steaks are. And they definitely got the best, it's definitely a great burner for steak. Beef steak or pork steak, it's really ideal. Okay, I'm gonna take a few of these real quick. Now what I like to do is I do a, a press, so I'm just going to do a thing as such. Yeah, I think these are good. Ugh. Yeah, they should be good enough. Otherwise, they're just gonna continue to burn. One, two, three. Okay, so these steaks have actually been resting for the last five minutes now, because that's the proper thing to do when you cook steak, is have them rest and have it covered up in the pan like this for about five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna take them out now. And look at that, look, that's one of the best steaks. Now I already got my plate here. Get myself ready. Mm. 
And of course, I'll eat veggies later, of course. I just don't have the time just at the moment, but eventually I'm going to have veggies after my steak. Then I'm off and back to work for a couple more hours. Oh, that was good steak, but can't eat the rest. Oh, man. Well, I'll still have some veggies, so, because I still have some time before I gotta get back to work. Uh, but it's a little bit different still that it feels to be staying over at my old place where my parents live for a couple of nights. But <clears throat> I do, I definitely don't mind sometimes when they ask me to house it, like, like I'm doing here right now. Yeah, it's been interesting so far. Yeah. Okay, I had an interesting night day at work. It's already past midnight. And I'm just about to get some sleep. So, hopefully you guys um, take it easy. And I'm going to definitely enjoy the, the next couple nights on my own in this place. And... Yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys soon on some more videos because I am going to be vlogging a lot throughout this month of August. And I'm really, really getting excited. And I will see you guys all again soon. Thank you and good night for now.